I'm Katrina and this is Sew and Tear. Welcome to the week in review for the week of June 13th and uh, I worked a lot this week so not a whole lot got done but we did um, do several things started process for jam which I'll put here Um, and then today we processed 24 quail and um, gave our chickens the guts for the first time and they love them and so that's something we're going to be doing from here on out is to save the guts for the chickens. Um, I'll have a clip in here uh, after, after some of the garden stuff. Um, the green beans you see behind me, this wall of green beans, they're actually green beaning. Let's take a look. So we have all of that. Look, it's going up. It's going up. This is over the top of the trellis. It's so awesome. Here's a baby green bean. Okay, but there's more green beans over here. And they're mostly smallish right now. But this is the first. This is my first time growing this variety, so I don't know how thick they get. Um, this is kind of where they're at right now, which is a good length, but I'm going to give it a couple more days and see what we get, and then do a picking. We have discovered, though, that they are good raw. They're a little sweet, and um, tastes like a green bean. So I thought that this volunteer pumpkin was a pie pumpkin, but it's not. Look at these guys. We grew one of these last year. Um, they were good, and I don't remember what they're called, and I think it was a hybrid seed that we had. So anyway, that was good. And we have this magnificent vine, oh, which I need to train up again. So I'm just going to wind this through and it has actually several of these little vines um, now I was gonna put this over there but it wanted to come this way so well, put it here then. we have another one that's all the stuff on the ground so far <laughs> but um, we also have a little pumpkin starting and this is that pumpkin from the, my seeds from my friend so it looks like that might have gotten pollinated the, the flower was open for two days and I missed taking a picture of it for some reason but it looks like it's good so I'm letting that artichoke go to flower Manuel's carting in the uh, the quail in the cooler <laughs> but these have taken over and I thought we didn't have any zucchini and then I looked and let me pull out some and show you so I actually have several of them in here this one is a reasonable size So we will have zucchini tonight. This is a size about that you're supposed to harvest them out, maybe a little bigger than this, but we got some giants in here. I'm okay with the big ones. Last year I pickled a bunch. The big ones I do use a knife on. <laughs> so I think these are all the black beauty 
variety that we planted from seeds that I uh, had a plant of last year. And let's go see if we have any yellow squash. Ooh, we do. We have yellow squash. Oh, this is a big one. All right, we have that one. So here is our squash haul. First squash out of the yard this year. Looks good to me. Squash recipes coming your way. That's what that means. Guys, look at this dill. It has fallen over. Oh, look, a ladybug. It's fallen over. So has the beet, the beet. And they're both working on making seeds, which is great. And that's a celery plant over there. So we're going to let that one seed. I'm just very impressed with all of the zucchini. <clears throat> so we processed quail today. We're not done yet, but um, we're switching things out. So I want to give the, the girls the guts. Hey guys. Now, last time, Rexy really liked certain parts. Yeah? You just like all the parts, huh? So as long as our chickens have grit, this is perfectly fine. And creates no waste. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> Where are you taking it? Hmm? Huh? Milo took it over in the corner. <laughs> yeah, does she have something? So, they're enjoying that. This is the board. I just, just decided to keep it in here that we blocked off the nest, box, nest boxes with when... Um, Went over after it was broody. I figured we'd probably use it again. And it fits so well. Lady? You're ripping it apart, huh? Should I cut it into bite-sized pieces for you? A little spoiled girl? Yeah, over after. You don't need to steal it from her. There's a whole pile here. There you go. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> what are you doing, little girl? I think you have to rip it apart. You gonna you gonna eat it all in one bite? Oh my gosh. Girl, you better eat some grit after that. So this is the apricot in the back. We have Harvested basically all of the ones in the front, and this one's just now starting to get ripe. Um, you can see these are turning color. My goodness, look at this one. Look how big that one is. Look at that. So, let's taste this one. This is huge. I know it's not quite ripe, but I'm going to be gone for a couple days, so I want to have a, one of these ones. It's ripe on one side. <laughs> it's good. It's um, not quite ripe, but it's very, very good. Manuel has decided that one of the one and a half week olds needs to see the outdoors. Is this your new pet? Yeah. For a few minutes. <laughs> Poor little one. It's bright out here, isn't it? It's bright out here. It needs to go back inside with his friends. <laughs> let me let me introduce him to the oh jeez. You're introducing not too close. Oh, 
I don't think Smilo's impressed. Yeah, Smilo, it's not for eating. Can they eat him? Yes. I think that's what happened to the baby. Okay, so I was trying to keep them further apart than inches. Oh. <laughs> I'm about to feed the quail some uh, pressed um, blackberries. I made juice for for um, jelly. Let's see how they... This little girl was absolutely ridiculous. She finally found it and then went straight for the towel which she then like made a nest out of and made it all cozy. And then she started doing a bathe. They, she started doing like a dust bath, but there is no dust. It's just purple. So she just dyed everything purple. So she ended up doing her nails and she did a little bit of, of hair dye. <laughs> her legs turned out purple. So if you're looking for a way to uh, dye your quail, I guess this is the way to do it. <laughs> she was really fun to watch, and we just put this on on the, the speed so that um, everybody could enjoy it in a short amount of time. She was just really funny. I put down the flower sack towel next to where I dumped the, the berry seeds, and there's a little girl uh, quail taking a bath on top of the towel. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that we have one little girl who loves to bathe in this stuff and she's gonna have purple feet <laughs> and purple feathers. So, what if? Look at her. <laughs> She's getting her hair done. <laughs> you getting your hair done? Being a nice, a nice teenager with purple hair. <laughs> you see her? No. She rubbed, rubbed on the seeds. <laughs> Totally trying to get her her um, her dye. Yeah, that's why girls. I said get her hair done. <laughs> oh. That's what I was referencing. Okay. That is dependent. I think there's so we much. can we can show it to the girls and see. This is the cheaper way to get a hair <laughs> dye. That's how it's supposed to be done. Mm. I don't know. They're having a fun day today. I know. I I didn't I didn't think that that was gonna be the fun part. I thought that the berries were gonna be the fun part. <laughs> Look at her feet. They're all purple. <laughs> you got purple toenails. Look at the purple toenails. <laughs> oh, I missed it. I came in here and Tortellini was nursing her babies over in the corner. Huh. Are you using your babies in the corner? Hi baby. Hi. They're pretty big. Hi Parmesan. How you doing, bud? How you doing? Yeah? 
<laughs> you want to stay over there? Come here. So he is still shedding. We are still picking his his fur off pretty good. Yeah. Look at that. Did I get hair in your ears? Is there hair in your ears now? Come here. Yeah, there is. Sweetheart. Sometimes he gets distracted by baths. Even when there's a lady in with him. So the bunnies are good. We got one peeing. Honey, that's not the bathroom. Um, bunnies are all good. Everybody's doing good. Um, still haven't made their little home. The, we still haven't made the uh, the baby pet house. Maybe that will get done this week. Hi, sweetie. Can I open this up without you coming out? Yeah. All right. Oh, are you cuddling with Mama? She's a cuddle bug, isn't she? <laughs> what are you doing, honey? Hmm? What do you smell? Hi. Hi, little. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Well, hello. <laughs> you want to say hi? Sometimes they want to say hi, and then they really don't want to say hi. Yeah? No? Okay. You always want to say hi, huh? Oh, Miss Tortellini. All right. Oop. Sorry, chicken. Who was that? Hi, Oak Raptor. Hi, Meatball. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Yes. Good girl. I know you love your pets. I know you love your pets. Yeah. Good girl. So these girls are not shedding like Parmesan is yet. Not sure why that is because he's, I think, in the most shaded spot. Hey, little bunny. <laughs> All right. Bye, ladies. So we got this huge umbrella for Zidi to give her some extra little shade to shade her hutch basically. We used it when we processed the bird, the uh, quail today. So that's going to be hers. You can see the lemons. Lemons are doing good. We still have oranges on the orange trees. Hi, bunnies. They have two fans now, one here and one over there. That happened last week. I wanted to show you our feeders we put up on cement block. So I'll have a video out about Urbanite later. But that's one of the things we did. Hi, Mama ZD. Hello. I know, you're not used to the big tripod, are you? Hi, sweetie. Hello. Yes, hello. Good girl. Good girl. She's such a good girl. So, ZD's doing good. Her three little babies are doing good. Not oh, babies. Can I say hi? Hello. One of the black ones likes to be pet. I'm not sure which one it is. Or oh, look at you guys being cute. Yeah, you. I was talking about you. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We are about to have a whole lot more blackberries. So 
Here's one right here. These are so good. Very good. I made juice, which I'm going to make into jelly. That'll be another video. The spider lives in the corner of the kitchen, <laughs> but it just caught a fly and it's busy wrapping it up. I thought it might be interesting. Some people might be grossed out, but I think it's interesting. So this little one um, seems to have berries at the top and not really much else. Because that's kind of where the plants are doing well. But we got three berries there. And then this one over here has some. And you can see this humongous monster. This one's ripe. That monster. Some spider webs. And one right here. Some more here. We need to uh, move these apart <laughs> so they have a little more room. But um, we're starting to get little babies hanging off, like this one here. This one here has a little baby. And we should be cutting those off. And really what I should do is I should be potting them up because uh, this one lost a few in the top. Actually just two in the top. This one looks like it might still be alive. And then the other one lost a bunch on the bottom. So. Yeah. And more down there. But this red one is a pepper. This is a Hungarian hot yellow wax pepper, except for that it's red, so it's probably just ripe. You want to win, rinse these? Are we trying the pepper too? If you want to. On camera? I, we can if you want. It could be a pretty flower. Big strawberry. Little strawberry. Cheers. Cheers. You broke it. <laughs> Do I tape it? Mm -mm. Good. We have a variety of peppers. So we tried this before and we didn't think the camera wouldn't shut off, so we can try it again. It's a Hungarian hot wax, yellow wax. But it's red. It's good. It's more sweet than the strawberry. What? The strawberry I ate, it was, it was not sweet. What are you talking about? Yours was sweet? Mm-hmm. We have different kinds, though. Yeah. We didn't pay attention to which kind we pulled it from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one is sweet. That was a sweet one. That was a really sweet one. Anyway, we're just eating strawberries in front of you now. How rude. <laughs> Alright. I want to show you guys the plums in the front. And I think that's it. We have some more stuff, but we can just end with that one. Mm. Mm -mm. We have to end with a baby quail. Thank you. So here is our bear apricot tree. There's some up there that the birds were enjoying, so can't really reach it easily and the birds are just gonna come after something else, so we're gonna let them enjoy that. But our plums are starting to change color. And there is one, oops, there's one that looks ripe right there. I'm going to try and get it down, see if it's ripe. So here's the plum. It's a little hard, but I want it. <laughs> so I think this is Flavor Supreme. No, is it? I don't remember what it is. There is a sign somewhere, but so I wanted this. It's a little hard, not quite right, but let's try it. Tastes like a sour plum that's not ripe. <laughs> we'll wait next time. <laughs> These little cuddle bugs are doing good. 
Now, some of them are outside from the uh, heater, and that's fine. And it looks like they do need it raised up. guys doing? So they are starting to popcorn. <laughs> Silly birdies. Hello. That one looks like it hurt, huh? 